companies show off more and more powerful self-driving technology each year here at CES. This year, we're seeing better sensor technology, more computing power, and software that makes better decisions about road situations. This will make cars more capable of handling real-life situations like merging, avoiding pedestrians, and construction zones. We saw self-driving technology firsthand from auto suppliers like Delphi and Navia. Earlier autonomous car prototypes could be overly cautious and sluggish, driving more slowly or braking at a distance far behind an average human driver. Delphi's version of the fully autonomous Audi Q5 makes decisions more like a person than a computer. We rode along as the Q5 merged easily onto a busy highway. To know where they are on the road, self-driving cars use a combination of GPS and high-definition maps, pinpointing their locations to within a few centimeters. Tunnels have been a particular challenge. The Delphi car went through a tunnel and was able to maintain its position using cameras, radar, and beefed-up software. Delphi is hoping to further refine its self-driving system to sell to an automaker by 2019. French tech company Navia showed off the Arma. These autonomous electric buses could one day be used as shuttles at airports or on college campuses. They're currently being used in Europe and at M-City, a facility at the University of Michigan built to test connected and automated technology. While these systems certainly show promise for safety and convenience, there is still a lot of development needed before they're ready to take the wheel. For more on self-driving technology, check out consumerreports.org.